game is fucking horrible! Combat, I believe, needs no introduction. <clears throat> it's one of the greatest games ever made. It's also one of the most infamous fighting games ever made with its digitized graphics, gory violence, and. well. fucking orange. There are two types of people when it came to Mortal Kombat fans and the soccer moms. And or not the soccer moms got phone. Because we're gonna skip all the bullshit and go straight to the brass packs. Combat 1 through 4, and there were three games released for home console markets Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance, Mortal Kombat Deception, and Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Now, shortly after Deception was created, it was stated that there was going to be another Mortal Kombat. Now, of course, all the Mortal Kombat fans got excited as all hell. And the guys, and the people behind Mortal Kombat, Ed Boon, and all the other guys, don't make a fuck about it. They stated that there are going to be all these new features. There's gonna be, <clears throat> there's gonna be an all-new conquest mode, improved online mode, and of course, two things that people wanted since Mortal Kombat One: creative fatality and create a f creative fatality and creative fighter. Now it seemed like a Mortal Kombat's fan dream come true. However, it would turn out to be a complete fucking nightmare. Now, where can we start? Well, like all things, it's best to start at the beginning. Now, keep in mind, before we even start, keep in mind that before every Mortal Kombat game started, they always tell the backstory. They always told a backstory of what happened in the previous game. For example, in Mortal Kombat Deception, it said that the Deadly Alliance took over and Onaga came back to life and he pwned everybody. So naturally, in this one, it's going to talk about how Onaga was defeated and a new force comes back to life. Well, is it? Well, let's find out. Okay, where the hell is this? There have been many powerful wars. What happened to Onaga? Millennia. Where are we? Of mortal combat Who's that guy in the background in the mountain? The fabric of the realms. The critical Why did Kintaro appear out of nowhere? Who the fuck are those guys? It was foreseen that combatants would one day grow too powerful. And too numerous. If left Why the hell are they fighting each other all of a sudden? I mean, I know it's Mortal Kombat, but even that is a plot. And bring about the apocalypse. What the hell did I miss? What the fuck? Okay, now this is kind of cool. Raiden's still black. I thought he was white. Why are they fighting like they're in Dragon Ball Z? What the hell is this? Why does Jax think he's a gangster? Got a giant band hammer. He's not afraid. Wait a minute. God what the hell is that? Demanded a safeguard put in place to avoid. Why is there a giant pyramid coming out of nowhere? One that would make use. Is this Lord of the Rings or Mortal Kombat? Bloodlust, like moths to flame. Who the hell is that guy? To battle. Why don't you just do that? 
Why does Cabal suck so much? Why is Baracho so goddamn fat? What the hell is going on, honestly? And why the hell is Shiva here? I thought she died in Mortal Kombat 3. Where the hell is the blood? Is Liu Kang still a zombie? He was brought back to life in Mortal Kombat Deception. Okay, that was kind of that Shujinko fails in life. Seriously, what the hell is that? What is there, candy on top of the mountain? It Jesus. Come to this final battle. Armageddon has Who begun. the fuck is that? Okay, this isn't good at all. I haven't even started playing the game and already it's turning into a pile of shit. Maybe Conquest Mode will give me some sort of a backstory so I know what the hell's going on. First off, let's take a look at all the other Conquest Modes. In Mortal Kombat Daily Alliance, Conquest was simple. You just went from place to place, and you got training. The more characters you defeated, the more money you got, until you finally faced your double game. In Mortal Kombat Deception, it has increased tenfold. You can run around Grand Theft Auto style, you can go into people's houses and steal their shit, and you can punch old ladies. It was awesome. So, what's in store for this conquest mode? Okay, what the hell is this? You're running around, and you're punching guys. Gee, where have I seen this before? Oh yeah, it's a half-assed version of Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks, which is a highly superior game. Now, one of my biggest problems with this conquest mode is that there's no secrets. You know what I'm talking about. Things just pop up out of fucking nowhere just for you to grab them. If you remember back in the Deception Conquest, you had to wait. You had to go to specific areas at specific times of day in order to find a treasure chest. That was cool, because it offered a challenge. In fact, people are still doing it to this day. But oh no, not Mortal Kombat Armageddon. We have to half-ass everything. We think we got to make everything so goddamn easy. Okay, so apparently you're this guy named Taven, who happens to be the son of... Some gods or something, I don't know. And you're walking around trying to figure out what the hell your mission is. Well, I'm just gonna skip all this shit. Actually, no, 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 no. One thing I have noticed is that, is that everyone's out to kill you, even the good guys. Take a look at this scene, for example. Sonya Sonya Blade rescues you and asks you to come with her Some for questioning question. because she wants to know why Sector decided to kidnap you. Since you of course, being the, the son of being the son First of Argus, the Argus the mountain, Taven kindly the refuses. I'm the son of Argus. You have no authority over me. I have full authority. And of course, Sonya doesn't take lightly to this and says, "I have full authority." Jesus. Well, I guess we know who wears the pants in this relationship.